it is a little bit of a outrageous claim that comes with really no scientific basis. They don't have any evidence of this. It's basically someone thinking out loud about what ifs. The basis of these claims is a real wormhole of misinformation and confusing kind of thinking out loud posts. That initial blog post was posted with a title that said, former head of Pfizer research says that COVID vaccine causes infertility. So let's just start with who this person is. This person has not worked for Pfizer in at least nine or 10 years. And so they are not someone that is really close to the vaccine development or anything like that. It's also somebody who has made claims very recently that the pandemic is effectively over and not something that we need to worry about anymore. So I just think it helps to understand the mindset of the person who is making these claims. Now this post contained a lot of information. Now I'm simply gonna focus on the one where they say, that, oh my gosh, the vaccine causes infertility. Let me read you what they say in the post. The vaccinations are expected to produce antibodies against spike proteins of SARS-CoV-2. This is true. However, spike proteins also contain syncytion-1 homologous proteins, which are essential for the formation of the placenta in mammals such as humans. It must be absolutely ruled out that a vaccine against SARS-CoV-2 could trigger an immune reaction against syncytion-1, as otherwise infertility of indefinite duration could result in vaccinated women. There's a lot to tackle in that. So first we need to talk about what is syncytion-1. This is a protein that is integral to placental development in the embryo. The idea that these two proteins are so similar that your antibodies could mount an immune response is a bit of a extremist claim. Are they similar? They do have some similarities, but a lot of viruses have similarities. So they would need to be extremely similar. And we're just not finding that when you actually look at the genetic sequencing. It is a little bit of a outrageous claim that comes with really no scientific basis. They don't have any evidence of this. It's basically someone thinking out loud about what ifs. So I agree, we should definitely be considering this as a possibility. We should be you know, keeping an eye on that, but you can't just make these claims and say that people shouldn't be vaccinated because of this. Should we study it and make sure? Absolutely. Is the biologic plausibility high enough that this should be a concern that keeps you from being vaccinated? This is pandemic medicine and we need to get our people back to a place of safety. So I think that the vaccine is safe. I don't think that there is enough substantiation of these claims for people to avoid vaccination for this reason.